hi guys um i know i'm looking some type of way um it is extremely hot in bloemfontein today it is 34 degrees i am burning i wasn't even wearing this i just had to wear it because it is very uh hot let me show you this is so cute actually i got this for my cousin um for her wedding i was a bridesmaid at my cousin's wedding last year so she gave us these i love it so much especially when it's super hot but i'm sorry for coming like this but actually saka is who has time to be wearing clothes full, full clothes on she's a hand number two um we haven't had electricity the whole day sent like has problems uh, and it's not load shedding they I, they said it's a power what what and yes so we haven't had electricity the whole day i should be cooking but um husband is going to make a plan because there's no electricity um hi and welcome back to my channel i am mousy vezokwe um i really hope you enjoy i guess this video if you don't that's okay but if you do even great um what do i want to say okay so i've decided to sit down and shoot this video because i realized that um okay so last week now I was at last week Thursday I was at a year in function at church. I haven't been going to church since um before the week before the wedding celebration. I haven't been going for rehearsals as well. I serve as a as a in the music ministry. What what means what is a what? I serve in the music ministry at church. So um I haven't been going to rehearsals or serving since before the week before um the wedding celebration sorry i'm thirsty catch you hydrate me to not lay heat me so that's that i haven't been to church since then and then on thursday last week i decided but i wasn't gonna go to the year in function but i was like you know what let's go last minute my husband and i we literally went there last minute we rsvp last minute yeah um and then there like um i think people couldn't understand why like um i obviously because i didn't explain i didn't tell anyone what was going on with me um if you watched my previous video um the first wedding celebration so the one yes at tabs you would have seen that i was in the beginning of the vlog i was laying on on pillows a lot of pillows um we were went for traveling to east london and and, and uh, tabs um i was laying on the pillow and i said um I'll, it's a story for another day so excuse me you guys sorry this is wild it's a very wild story for me um but a week I don't know what the date was. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to insert the date here. The dates as I go. The week before um, my wedding. So on, on Thursday, um, I was at work. Ne? And then I came to I came home. Um, I work right across where I stay. So I walk, to, I walk home for lunch every day. Um, so that I can make lunch for my husband as well. So I walk, I walk back um, home to to for lunch, and then I have lunch, and then I leave, and then just before I leave, I tell my husband, "Listen here, um, something's not okay. Like I'm feeling dizzy. I don't understand what's going on, but uh, I'll see." And like I'm a very extra person. Like my personality is very extra. So sometimes I don't take myself serious because. I'm extra, you know. I always feel like I'm overdoing things. Yeah, boom. So I told my husband, listen, um, 
I'm not feeling well. Um, but it is what it is. I have to go back to the office and work. So I went to the office. Um, when I get there, man, Dave Bam, mm -mm, something is really not good. And then I tell one of my colleagues, and then I keep laying on the on the desk the whole time when when the spell comes when the dizzy spell comes i lay i really hope i can go fast with the story because the sun is gonna go down we don't have electricity so the lighting is not gonna be good so um and then i lay down and then um chop i finish with work i go home and then um, my husband asked me about how am I doing now. Oh, but okay, it's still there, but like it's not like I can't function. Like I can function. And we had a rehearsal that day, but I wasn't going to serve that weekend. Um, we were supposed to go to East London to buy um, the clothes, um, the wedding clothes, like the traditional attires for the wedding that weekend. So I wasn't going to serve, but it, we are required to, to go and attend rehearsals, even if we're not going to serve. Um, so I, um, my husband was like, no, listen, um, maybe you should stay and not go. I was like, nah, bruv, I want to go because I'm not going to serve. So I might as well, and I'm not going to be here on Sunday. So I might as well just go and just, you know, be there. So I go, and then when I was there, like every time I hugged someone, like they would be like, "Yo, you're so we are cheese, like you're so hot." Um, not in that form, but like in the like heat, like you're overheating. And then that kind of worried me. The worst part is that earlier on I wasn't feeling well, so you guys are scaring me. Um, on the city in the cheese, but I was like, okay, it is what it is. I really hope it's nothing. Then I go home. I'm fine. I wasn't really feeling particularly dizzy. I go home and then we eat and then we sleep. And then um, in the morning, um, I go to the bathroom. But as I stand up, yo, I was super dizzy, like extremely dizzy. I couldn't walk without holding on to, to things. So I, I wake up my husband. I'm like, listen, um, something is not okay something is is really really wrong with me i'm feeling very dizzy and then he was like i bought what's going on if naman does i think the dizziness from yesterday is just worse today and then i was like okay let me go to the bathroom and then come back and then um we'll see so i go to the bathroom so while i'm in the bathroom i gag but nothing comes out like i'm like Ugh! and then nothing comes out and then um i think my stomach was empty and then so MQ is just like, okay, what's going on? And then I, I, I walk back to the bed. And then he's like, and then um, I was like, yo, bruh, like, I really am, I'm not good. But I'm afraid um, Kolisha in sick. I've never really called in sick at work. So I was like, yo, I'm a bit afraid of calling in sick because on that Thursday, I had just asked my manager to extend my leave for the wedding weekend, the following weekend. I had asked him to extend it to the Monday. So I was only going to take the Friday. Yes, I was only going to take the Friday. So um, Friday off. So I asked him to extend it to uh, to in include Monday as well because of traveling and stuff. And then Sharp, um, so I was like, yo, I actually asked my manager to extend my leave. So... So I'm really scared. And then um, he was like, um, yeah, no, I, I can understand. Maybe sleep and see. This was probably around four o'clock or five o'clock. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm really not sure about the times. And then I slept. No, 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 I didn't sleep. Um, I was up. But I was feeling very dizzy, even though I was sleeping, I was on the bed. I was feeling very dizzy. And then MQ went to the bathroom. So while he was in the bathroom, I was like, nah, there's absolutely no way I can go to work and work in this state. It's impossible. It's literally impossible. I'm trying to see, well, um, maybe if I can move stations, because I can see our light is starting to give out. So, and then um, while he was in the bathroom, I took my phone and I called my manager. I was like, listen, um, I don't know what's going on, but I'm feeling dizzy. 
um i'm calling to let you know that i might come to work i want to come to work but um i just wanna i'm probably gonna get there late um and i have to be at work at quarter past seven because um the technicians have to sign at work so um and they basana kum yabo yo guys um so i don't know what to do the lighting is really bad just hold on just a, a second i'll be back I want to see if I can't find something that can help us. So I'm going to try and use my old phone to... What is this now? I'm going to use my old phone. Let me... For light. We'll see how it's going to work. But, yeah... Oh, my husband's calling me. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to use... Oh, I'm going to use my old phone to to give some light, but it's still off, so I'm trying to charge it. Please look, my phone clay. It's bad. Um, so, um, where was I? I called my manager... And I told him what was going on. And then he was like, okay, it's fine. Um, I must just let him know how I am. So I, I went to bed. Um, and then um, I woke up at around 9 o'clock. And then I went to the bathroom. Uh, my husband luckily works from home. So I woke up and then I went to the bathroom. Again, when I sit down, ne. When I woke and I sit down again, that thing of, um, um, I started gagging again. And I couldn't understand, Bible, what's going on? Like, I, like what is going on? And then um, I, I, I tried to walk, but I just, I couldn't walk at all without um, almost falling and tipping over. And then I just sat at the foot of the bed. Um, this time, I think my husband was already up. Yes, I think it was already up. I don't remember. And then he was like, um, nah, I think we should go to emergency because um, like, this makes no sense about what's going on. And then he, 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 just, he told me to call my manager and tell him that I won't be able to make it. We're going to um, emergency. So um, we went to emergency. Um, and then when we get there, literally before we even get there like i couldn't even bath myself that day i couldn't even wash myself so mq had to do everything for me and then um he had to carry me to the car he reversed the car and then i went down and then i literally threw up now then i threw up i threw up but it wasn't a lot like it was i think because my stomach was empty oh I, I didn't really throw up a lot and i think that was very very scary for mq because like what is going on like yeah bro. so that was probably really frightening i could i saw him <laughs> he literally stood <clears throat> up there it was his puzzle and i was throwing up because he left me in the car he, he 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 gave me pillows to lay down at the back um but then when when he was going up i had to turn because i can i could feel but um, I'm gonna throw up. So I turned around quickly and opened the door to throw up. Luckily, I threw up outside. So he was standing up there, and I could see the shock in his face. But okay, what's going on? Okay, my phone is on now. Let's try and. I think my battery is still quite low, so I can't really. Then um, he quickly went to go get stuff like to clean up, and then he came, brought me water. Um, and then he brought cleaning stuff and he cleaned up and then um, he closed up and then we left and then um, when I get to the to the hospital I couldn't like he couldn't even carry me in because like I couldn't stand so he had to bring a wheelchair so they brought a wheelchair but also the wheelchair was super uncomfortable so I started throwing up so every time I stood up or sat up, I would throw up. 
um, and feel extremely dizzy. And then I started throwing up all over the, the, the parking area. And then the security people were like, no, oh, no. Um, they started helping us out. So they quickly came. I was like, get me the hell off this, um, this wheelchair. I want to sit on the floor now. I want to lay down on the floor. Because everything was better when I laid down. So I was like, get me the hell off this stupid wheelchair. I want to lay down right now. Like, If you've ever been in a situation where you're just throwing up it's not it's not nice like that feeling is not like it's like your life is trying to come out oh I, I, my word so sharp um samba again again then they attended me but then at the end of the day yeah, the verdict was um the doctor there that was attending um she was like no i have how does this phone work flip Oh, that's how it works. Um, oh, let's do... Oh, no. That's not working. Ah. Okay. I think that's a lot better. That's a lot better. So, um, the doctor that was um, on call, um, she was like, I have... Um, oh, so they did blood tests, obviously, because they didn't know what was going on with me as well. So um, they did blood tests and stuff. Immediately when I got in, they did um, drips and stuff. They gave me some fluids and they they gave me something else. I don't know that thing. And then um, the doctor, they um, came back with the results and the results um, came back it showed that my iron levels were very low which is something I, I know like um prior to that i was always going to my gp for palpitations i had hectic palpitations like almost chronic so i was on medication for um a year for a year for palpitations um so we had done blood tests with my doctor and he i knew that i had issues with with um iron but my doctor was like no it's controllable like i'm on medication like he gave me meds for it he he did he gave me medication for it um supplements for it sharp okay um we and then um what happened and then they were like, okay, um, they're going to just see the levels to see about should they admit me or let me go. So then um, the nurse comes back. She's like, no, the doctor's happy with the levels um, so you can go home. So I'm, I'm like to, to MQ. Yo, I shame. I feel worse than how I was when I got here. Like, I really feel worse. So the fact that I'm leaving, like, on the understand, and they gave me fluids and they gave me this thing. I think they said it was, it had a lot of vitamins in it. Like, it, it was yellow in color. If you're a doctor, you'll know what it is. So they gave me that. And shame, like, I felt worse. That thing didn't help me. It didn't help me. And then, um, Sha Puge, I decided okay so we we were like okay sharp let's go so we left we went home when i got home things were not good at all i was throwing up all over the show shame poor mq had to do all the cleaning had to make sure that i'm fed all of that like it was a lot it was a lot every time i try to eat something if i move if i sit up if i stand up i would throw up immediately like it was just it was horrible it was horrible okay no problem i then went um uh i went wait oh um i slept this was now uh friday right this was friday night so i went to bed on friday um and then in the morning for oh, saturday morning um we were even like yo at least it's the excuse me at least it's the weekend you'll probably recover in the weekend and then in the morning friday saturday i wake up 
when I open my eyes, my eyes are not focusing. They're literally moving around on their own like this. Yeah, boo. So I'm like, okay, what is going on? I do not understand what's going on. So I wake MQ up. I'm like, M, there's something going on now. I don't understand it. Um, my eyes are moving on their own. And then he turns around and he looks at me and he can see that the eyes are not stable. They're moving around. And then um, he's like, yo, bra, like we have to go to emergency again because if you were just vomiting and you had no um, nausea and you, and you what? And you were um, dizzy, then those are the things that you had so we think it's still what you were having and then um but now this is a new thing so let's rather just go um let's go and and see what's going on so it's that story again he has to prepare me um get ready because i can't shower can't um shower myself and stuff so he has to get me ready so I got ready, he got ready, then we we went. Again, I can't walk on my own. I was in a wheelchair. Still not good. I'm still throwing up. Um, and then the doctor they that day things were horrible. I couldn't even sit up like this. I I was bending like this the whole time. I couldn't sit up. And then he, and then um, we went to the doctor. There was a different doctor. And then immediately when he saw me and he saw my eyes, he's like, you have vestibular neuritis. So um, I'm going to put here what vestibular neuritis is so that, because I'm not a doctor also, like I don't want to butcher what it is. But technically it's just uh, an inflammation in the ear and it, it affects your balance and stuff so um he was like this is definitely the something that you do not want to have in your life you do not want to have vestibular neuritis um and i was like listen here yeah, next week we are having a wedding celebration so and then he's like my girl you are going to be admitted because things are bad it's really really bad and then I was like, oh, what a bummer. So, but then that didn't um, happen. My medical aid, because I haven't been with my medical aid um, for a year. So they were giving us a hard time. Oh, medical aids, guys. But then um, they refused to authorize my um, my admission. Um, so they gave me, um, stuff to, for the nausea, for the vomiting, for the, for, oh, and then Wafiga E, A and T specialist. And, um, he, we did some therapy, um, for the eyes, um, to stop moving. Um, so that helped a lot because I couldn't even open my eyes at all all before the the specialist came in i couldn't open my eyes um because they were uncomfortably moving around so when he came after he came i really could open them but i couldn't open them like oh i'm living my life with my eyes open like i had to like mind it my name is quit but it was better because i could open my eyes and they weren't moving like the way that they were moving they were just i think recovering and you know Sharp get so at the end of the day they had to um let me go because my medical aid didn't want me it didn't authorize my admission so we left i had to they were like okay girl you have to recover at home but they gave me um everything and then um my a t specialist gave me his details um so that i could go and um go back to him for therapy um he, he he works at a different hospital but he's just he just <clears throat> yeah and he hasn't ever in with private hospitals hey like he works for medic clinic but then like his offices are in medic clinic but he can attend to patients 
in other hospitals. So I was at Life Rose Park in Bloom. Um, but um, shampoo. So I went home. The medication really helped. I I was on steroids for a week, and I had to take eight tablets. Oh my gosh. The doctor was telling me about um no, it can take up to six months for you to to be normal again. Um other people it can take other people a year, two years or more, or for some people it it can become chronic. Um so I was like, Listen yeah, this thing can't be with me for so long it's because mm -mm. Candy lung and this lung. So I've been, I've been going there for we went to to my GP, um, just so that he can check me out and see. Um, this was now a couple of days before, um, we had to travel for Eastern Cape. Um, we just wanted his opinion to see about can I travel, and then he was like, listen, yeah, I'd rather go because. This thing, it can take a long time. You have to postpone for a long time. You could have to postpone for a long time. So rather just go, get it over and done with so that you can um, come back and be and, and focus on recovering. Then, um, yeah, I was off work for like a week. Um, and then I went for the wedding celebration. God was so good. I don't want to lie. I, I don't want to lie. God was so good. I, like, oh. like, if I could explain how hectic the, the, um, what is this? The, the dizziness is, um, and because of it, because now, I, I, even now, like I can't, um, because I'm still in recovery, I can't move my head fast. Like I have to be very careful with my movements because I'm, I get dizzy when I move. Um, and the, the side that's affected is this side. So this side is not bad, but um, also I can't move like that. But the... The side where I uh, I lost a lot of balance and stuff is this side. So um, my doctor was like, no, now you have to learn how to balance again. Um, so your your system is is learn is recovering and learning how to balance again. Um, so I'm using my eyes a lot to balance. Apparently, that's what he said. He said I'm using my eyes a lot to balance, and that's why um, my eyes started moving that day so he said that there's wheels at the back of the eye so those wheels was were moving like this because they weren't used to what was going on so um that's why my eyes started moving like that so now i have to do like i keep having to do therapy um like um what are these things maneuvers so that i don't go back to where I was but shame since that weekend I haven't been throwing up yes I become nauseous every now and then um but that's when I do too much like I'm supposed to rest most of the time but rest in positions where my my system can remember what it's like to to be normal so I can't be sleeping all the time yeah but laying down all the time I have to sit up um and shame i've I've recovered a lot because i it was a struggle to sit up it was a struggle to sit up i always had to lay down but now i can sit up for very long periods but um i have to be very careful um i can't like i i mustn't move too much i mustn't watch too much tv i mustn't be my, on my phone a lot i mustn't be in areas where there's a lot of people moving um even being in the car triggers me but um shame the the weekend because i had to travel to east london then travel to etabs 
God was on a shame. I, I don't have the words for how much God was just there holding me together for that weekend. I, I don't have the words. I, the thank yous, on, they can never be enough. They can never be enough. Just as much as thank yous to my husband for how he took care of me that week. I can never think. I even told him, listen, yeah, every time we're not getting along, every time I'm angry at you, just remind me of the t this time and how you took care of me. Then I'll forgive you like this. <laughs> but Shemi, he, he hasn't done that. He hasn't. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, Shem, um, it's been crazy. I'm still recovering, but I'm definitely not where I used to be. I can't serve still. I was at church for the first time today um, in the morning. Um, I was at church for the first time since I fell ill. So that was really refreshing. Um, we missed praise and worship because we were late. But um, that kind of helped also because I can't be around light that's moving and too much light. So that helped, I guess, because I only had a headache, but it wasn't, it didn't last. Like, usually when I do too much, like, the headache, like, yesterday, oh, my gosh, I had a bad headache almost the whole day yesterday. Um, But the headache that I had this morning at church, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It didn't last that long. So that was great. Um, So I think I'm going to definitely attend the morning services um and then yeah when when the more i get better i'm gonna start getting back to the evening services as well and then also start serving again i miss serving so much so 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 much um and yo they they're doing so many new songs when i get there it's gonna be like yeah go the onesie so yeah guys so I just wanted to explain because when I was there um at the year in function like um I could and people were even saying but oh, I got look this is this I come back in a new um hotel I would chat what decide bowser to save I'm like guys I would have done that since July if if that's what I was thinking but no, then I had to explain myself from scratch to like people I serve with, people um, that that I know and that know me at church. I had to explain myself, so I was like, you know what? Let me um, ex let me come and speak about it. Let me come and speak about it, but also to kind of just raise awareness. Um, if you are wondering what causes it, um, my doctor said twenty percent of the time it's because of accidents like car accidents and stuff but 80 percent of the time it's just random it just happens out of nowhere and it's not like you can do anything to to prevent it it just happens so i was that unlucky 80 percent i guess the week before my wedding celebration imagine but the wedding celebration was still amazing, Shem. It really, really was. It was quite painful, but it could have been worse. Considering that it was a week after my diagnosis, it could have been worse. But because when I came back, <laughs> things were really not good. And I had to go back to work. Um, my doctor was like, mm -mm, I'm not going to book you off any further because you're not going to learn how to be normal again so i had to go back to work but i had to take it easy as well but shame i'm a lot better now i'm a lot better i praise god honestly um and i really pray that <laughs> you don't ever have this thing it's the worst and i think also the not knowing is worse like not knowing when it will stop like all i can do is literally just pray and trust god for my full healing um but you just you you don't know when it's going to end you don't know when you'll be 100 percent yourself again i think that's what it gets me and i'm a bit emotional now about that 
to say um like i really i i can't wait till i'm a hundred percent back to myself um because there's a lot of things i can't do i can't do a lot of things because um if i do those things then um i reverse my my recovery like i can't um do vigorous activities and yeah so that's not nice but as long as i'm getting better and i really really am getting better i really really am um the only thing now is just i'm very static you know um but even with that it's a lot better like like i can do this yes it's a bit weird i can feel oh, there's something there's something that's not right up with it but it's not as bad like i couldn't do that so that's 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 a step towards my full recovery so i'm glad i'm happy about that i just want to also shout out to my friends that were just there for me my friends that would bring me food during um that time when i was not well um thank you so much guys thank you for the prayers my my friends my family um my mom's friends and family yo my mom's friends my mom's family is my family my mom's friends and the church um thank you so much for praying for me and trusting god for my full healing i really appreciate it and i will be healed in fact i am healed it just has to come in the natural now um yeah i just thought i should share that story bring a little bit of awareness to this thing um and also i'm going to i i had asked some questions a question on instagram concerning um like i was just saying just the catch-up video um i wanted to shoot a catch-up video i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna that's going to be our next video just to catch up i saw a lot of people were asking how life is after marriage well <laughs> if you want to find out you can um um just to um what subscribe i guess and then um wait for that for our next video but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um i know that this video is so unprofessional but so is all so you so are all my other videos um yeah um but yeah thank you so much uh for watching once again i really hope you guys have a great day or night depending on when you watch it um bye guys i really forgot that we have excuse me we have this light that um that uh, that what that, that plays oh the light that goes on even if we don't have electricity But guys, and cooling on your video, and get you so soon day. Anyway, bye. Hermelo, waiting for my hubby. Hopefully, I'm gonna update this time. It's Monday. Yeah. It's supposed to be. I don't know what the date is. Then. I don't know why I tried. I'm getting married on Saturday, and that's the date. The dress I have listed is the lightest. No.